Hey guys, uh, today we're going to take a look at HCG, human chironic gonadotropin, um, and its uses in bodybuilding. Um, HCG is used for uh, post-cycle therapy, also used sometimes during um, cycle to keep your balls working. Um, but before we dig into that, um, please take the time to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I get a lot of people watching my videos, not that many people subscribing. Uh, the YouTube algorithm only is helpful when you subscribe. Uh, um, I, eventually, I would like to make some money off of this channel, even if it's just a little bit. Um, right now, I make zero, so I cannot monetize until I hit a certain amount of subscribers. So any, if you appreciate my videos, um, you can show your, appreci show your appreciation um, by subscribing. Also, um, if you enjoy the video, hit that like button. If you have questions or comments, please ask them in the comment section below. I'm happy to respond to as many as I can, answer any questions you might have. Um, also, if you want to get in contact with me, my contact information is below. Uh, you can reach out to me directly, uh, DM me on Instagram. Um, my Instagram handle is Paul K. Barnett. And my email is bigp3rd at gmail.com, also down below in the description. Okay, so let's dig into this HCG. Um, Properties of HCG, it is a polypeptide hormone found in pregnant women. Uh, <clears throat> it is responsible for increasing progesterone. Um, progesterone helps sustain pregnancy while women are pregnant. Um, um, it is what you test for in a pregnancy test. So when you have that oops moment and you're scared your girlfriend might be pregnant and she goes and gets that pee test and she pees on it, it's testing for HCG. Used to be back in the day, a lot of fake growth hormone was actually HCG um, because dummies didn't know the difference. And the way we used to test for fake growth hormone was to squirt a little bit of it on a pregnancy test and see what it came out. And a lot of it was HCG. The bottles look the same. Easy to fake. Um, it was first discovered in 1920. Um... First came from animal pituitary, pituitary extract. It was called a pregnel, which I think is still the brand name for it. Um, eventually, it was made by filtering um, the filtering and purifying the urine of pregnant women. I think that was in the 1960s. They started doing it that way. It's still made that way as far as I know. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong about that. Um, it is primarily used as a fertility drug in women, and it is used uh, to stimulate testosterone production in men or promote testicular development in boys, like if they have issues with a testicle not dropping or they're not entering puberty. Um, this is used to help stimulate that, um, get get the testes working, um, get them in puberty. Um, effects of HCG, it's pretty straightforward. Um, for bodybuilding use, this is the effects for bodybuilding use. It possesses a minor FSH-like activity, follicle stimulating hormone. Uh, mainly mim mimics luteinizing hormone. Um, LH stimulates the Leydig uh, cells in the testes to manufacture testosterone. So it sends the message to your balls to tell them to work, to do their job and make testosterone. Side effects of HCG, uh, in my experience, are pretty mild. It's it's pretty pretty safe. I, I, there's nothing drastic about it. Um, can cause some bloating, can cause some elevated est estrogen, uh, can cause headaches in some people. Uh, those are the primarily the, the things that you hear hear about. Um, bodybuilding uses for HCG. So we know these. PCT, post-cycle therapy. Um, post-cycle therapy is used to recover your natural testosterone production after you have done a cycle. Um, you want to get everything working again. Uh, most PCT plans include um, um, using HCG in combination with a serum, a Novidex or Clomid. I think Clomid is fucking garbage, if you ask me. Um, I hate it. Um, Novidex is better. Clomid does work to get things going, but it just makes you feel fucking awful. Um, the HCG mimics the LH followed by the serum therapy for recovery. Um uh, while in cycle, it's the second use for it. While in cycle, it's used to prevent testicular atrophy while on cycle. Um, in theory, it should prime the body for an easier recovery when coming off of gear. 
Um, HCG Half Life, it's roughly two days. It just varies on your body and how you metabolize it. Um, some people longer, you know, you know, so the dosing schedules were are often made with that in mind. Uh, you know, please don't quote me on this. You know, I'll do a detailed video up on PCT at some point, but this is this is kind of just a generic PCT. Um, you know, it's not what I'm saying you should do, but this is just kind of a generic exam example of a PCT. You come off, you let the esters clear your system, you know, so a couple weeks after you finish your cycle, you're probably going to do two or 3,000 units every other day for three weeks. Then followed by 20 milligrams of Novodex each day for three weeks. Or you could use a combination of Novodex and Clomid or Clomid. Um, and then you rinse, wash, and repeat as necessary. Um, you know, sometimes you're going to have to do several loops of this to get things going, depending on how suppressed you are. Uh, while on cycle, typically what I see guys doing, um, most often it's 250 units every third day, usually twice a week. You're going to do that. That's what I did when I used it, uh, many, many, many moons ago, uh, while on cycle, 250 units, um, every third day. That's just to keep your balls full, keep your balls looking good. If you care about that. My experience, um, I ran it regularly when I was younger, when I was cycling in my 20s, I would run it. Um, I don't know how much of a difference it made. It did keep my balls nice and full, and I was able to have kids fairly quickly after I came off of gear. I, I quit all gear in my early 30s. I stayed off for about a dozen years. I didn't take anything. Um, and I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't run any kind of PCT when I came off. I just quit cold turkey, but I guess I had had the HCG going long enough that it kind of kept things somewhat working. Um, I got my wife pregnant fairly quickly after I came off. So evidently shit was still working. Um, um, I will say it did make my estrogen go up a bit and would bloat me up when I was on cycle. So you, you have to consider that and use an anti-estrogen to counter that, but no other really side effects. Um, I don't use it now since I'm, I really don't give a fuck about how, I don't want any more kids. I've had a vasectomy. Don't give a shit. Um, um, at this point, my body just doesn't really even make testosterone on its own. So I'm going to at least be on TRT for the rest of my life. So that's just kind of the state I'm in at, at this point. It serves no purpose for me. So I don't take it. Um, I also question how effective it is. If you're running super physiological doses of gear, if you're running a gram, gram plus a gear, I don't know how much of a difference it makes. There's also the issue too. It's hard to find, uh, at least the real stuff. And from what I understand, it's pretty fragile to it. It needs to be refrigerated. Um, and if it's not, then, you know, it gets exposed to too much heat. It gets ruined it really easily. Um, I do know that it comes dry and you mix it. Um, I haven't used it in forever, so I don't know if the, the way they do it, it has changed. I don't think it has. Um, uh, but from what I understand, it's pretty fragile, um, and loses its potency easily. Um, I, I don't know. I, I just, you know, I just think if you're blasting gear year round, taking 250 units of it twice a week, probably not going to do shit for you. <laughs> I mean, it's just my guess. I don't know. You could save your money. Um, you know, I don't know, but that's my two cents. It's totally up to you. It certainly isn't going to hurt adding it in. I would probably drop it for a pre-contest if you're competing, uh, just because of the water, potential water retention and estrogen elevation. It's probably pointless as well when you're on pre-contest with all the other shit you're taking anyway. You're going to be so suppressed. Um, it's probably pointless to take it. So I would not fuck with it on pre-contest. If you're just doing a bro cycle or you're just doing bro TR, you know, running, you know, sports TRT, bro TRT, where you're running 300, 400 milligrams of test year round, then by all means use it. Um, probably would be helpful in that situation. But if you're running a gram of test, you know, and 600 mil, you know, 600 milligrams of an anabolic and orals and, you know, two grams of total gear, it probably is, isn't doing shit for you. Probably a waste of money. Um, save that money for your GH and chicken breasts. Um, anyway, thank you for watching my video. Once again, please like and subscribe. Um, feel free to ask questions. Um, hit me up if you need me. Contact information is below. Take care, guys.